Hello, Gamer Nom is back. In this video, we're going to unlock everything on the Halloween limited event update of Haze Peace. But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Okay, guys, so are you excited on this update? We're gonna cover everything, don't worry. First up, guys, we got the Shadow Island and the level cap, okay? So I'm just gonna show you the island and the mobs, the new mobs here, and we're gonna go straight to the new fruit and to the new items. And yes, we unlock everything. Okay, so this is the island, guys. First enemy here is the Shadow Pirate. Yep, looks really dark. Okay, we're just gonna defeat one set of these mobs and we're gonna move to the next set of mobs. So guys, as you can see, uh, we have Gear 5 here. I haven't unlocked everything yet because Blocks Fruits update came out and when? Blocks fruit update. Yes, that's our main focus. So we have time to make a video on this one now. Okay, so it's a lag. <laughs> that's a lag, guys. Okay. So next up is the Shadow Commander. So this one's 3050. So as you can see, it's harder to grind or or uh, lure them using gear five here. But they're not easy to defeat. See that? It has a higher level, but we can burst it. Next up, we have the Shadow Boss here. This is the uh, highest mob that you can fight. For high level uh, players, you can get candies from defeating these mobs, okay? But make sure to have less than 100 level difference. Okay, so next one, we got the Shadow Fruit. Yeah, we're gonna focus on that. So as you can see, we have a level 1 account here. And let's check what's inside his inventory. So as you can see, level 1 inventory. There you go. Guys, we have the rare new Shadow Fruit here. We are gonna showcase this one. Don't worry, we won't be leveling it up. We're gonna fast forward stuff, okay? Everything, we're gonna fast forward. So here, let's just eat this one. This is how the fruit looks like. Hmm, looks like a Pokeball with a wing. Okay, bat wing. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. Again, we're gonna fast forward this one. Oh, and by the way, guys, there is a new code for those who don't know since I need a uh, reset stat. So we're going to use this one. So this code will give you 3 race spins, 15 gems, plus 1 stat refund. And the code is next. 300k cool. So guys, for me, it's new because I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Hopefully, this one will help you. There you go. We have a refund stat now. So as you can see, guys, you need at least 120 fruit stat in order to use all the skills. So we're going to secure that one. Okay, and add some combat and defense. And for the remaining stats, we will put it on the fruit for more damage, okay? Okay, so now, time to showcase the fruit. Oh, there you go, guys, the new sword. Don't worry, I'm gonna showcase that later. Let's focus on the fruit first. So guys, as you can see, first skill to unlock is the bat fly at 30 fruit stats. So let's try it, there you go. You're gonna ask me, uh, rate it 1 to 10. 10 is the best, 1 is the worst. 8 to 9, okay? Not bad. Guys, it could have been a 10 if E skill has damage. Guys, it cannot damage enemy, sadly. Okay, next up, guys, at Fruit Mastery 90, we will be unlocking 3 skills. And first one, let's showcase the Bat Swarm. So there you go, guys. It is AoE. So it is DPS around its area. Again, let's try the other mobs here. This one's stronger. There you go. I think this one's really good, especially when your enemies are near each other, so you need to lure them first. Let's try it on the boss for damage or single target damage. Again, this is the X skill. Damage so far is 240 10 hits. Again, this is AoE. There you go. Next up, guys, we're gonna try the next skill, the Shadow Rapture. So, guys, this one has a wider range, and I am not sure of the damage. See that, guys? We're able to defeat uh, five of them. Let's check if we can defeat 5 of these mobs in this area. Again, a while ago, we were not able to hit 5, right? Let's try. Oh, only 4 guys. But at least, the range is wider, right? So you can use this first, lure enemies, and then bat swarm next to damage them, right? Because again, the range is shorter. Okay, next up, let's check the damage. Previous damage is 240. Oh, same damage, guys. Shadow Rapture, same damage. Compared to the bot swarm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. Next up for our fourth skill, we got the Shadow Box V. Okay, this one has the widest range of all of them. Check it out. There you go. And hmm, the damage, I'm not yet sure. 
guys, the main challenge here is can he hit everything here? Can this skill hit all five here? Let's check it out. Boom! Whoa! That range is really good for grinding, guys. So let's check the total damage of this one on a single target enemy. 240 is the score to beat. 285. Okay, we have higher damage using this one. Not bad. So guys, imagine using all of the skills at the same time. Oh, this will be good, right? Okay, so I think we have one more skill, the bat projectiles. So you need 120 uh, fruit stats to unlock this one, guys. I don't know how this one works. Or I cannot believe how weak this one is. Not that one, guys. Sorry, sorry. That's, that, that's the bat swarm. Let's check the Z skill, bat projectiles. There you go, guys. I'm gonna try it now. Okay, so if you hold it, this is how it looks like. And then those four uh, bats will attack the enemies where your cursor is pointing at. So again, let's try it one more time. At first, I thought it can damage everyone that will touch it. There you go, but no guys, sadly no. Again, if you point to your enemy, there you go, it will attack the enemy. So guys, hopefully when your uh, level goes up or the mastery or the, what do you call this, the fruit stats goes higher, we will have more bat projectiles. But again, I am not sure of that. Oh, and before we move on to the items, First, let's check the damage of this one on a single target enemy. One, two, three. Oh, that's just 200, guys. It's really weak. And that is the last skill. Uh, am I missing something? I don't know, guys. Please help me figure this one out. Comment it on the comment section. And thank you in advance, okay? So next up, guys, moving on. Next one, we're going to talk about the limited Halloween item. So we got the dual axe, flying broom, and the pumpkin mask accessory. Gamer Gnome, I have a question. Also, me guys, I asked myself this one. Can I trade the candies? So guys, let's try it here. I have my friend with me, Luffy Yarn. Okay, so let's trade candies. So, so far, we have 16,000 candies, guys. 16,000. Hey, Gamer Gnome, how did you get that? Guys, I'm gonna show you later. Don't worry, okay? Okay, so, as you can see, guys, items, fruits, hats, and swords. There you go. We cannot trade it, sadly. <laughs> guys kind of frustrated here so i'm planning on like giving away candies to people around me but yeah it is not possible but guys don't worry don't be sad i have a good news for you later but first let's focus on hmm the items that we're gonna unlock because we have 16,000 candies so let's head to the npc it is located here at the port so there you go guys candy market okay so let's talk to it press e there you go. Okay, so we have three pumpkin mask, broom, and dual axe. Also a race spin. So for the race spin, for those asking, you need 300 candies to do that. So guys, first... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so this is limited, which means this won't be staying here for long. So first up, 1,000 candies for the pumpkin mask. Okay. Let's buy it now. Okay, okay, dual mask. 4,500 guys let's just compute so that's 5-5 five, five, right okay so that's 5-5 five, five, and we got 16,000 I think we need a total of 15,500 so that's 1,000 candies there you go we got the pumpkin mask what it's actually failed let's check it out okay there you go guys it gives out 2,500 HP oh not bad right wow okay looks good shout out to the developers guys this one looks good okay so next up we will be buying the broom okay broom costs 10,000 candies what is this broom hmm. oh it's amount okay amount so let's equip this one okay wow guys check it out no need for uh, energy anymore no more melee needed <laughs> I don't know. You still need that for the skills. Wow, guys. I think this one's really fast. Okay, not bad. Okay, guys. Not bad. Not bad. For 10,000 candies, if it, is it worth it? Yeah, guys. It's worth it. Given that uh, getting candies is really easy. But again, I can't say it for all of those uh, players. Because if you're high level, <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. You can, by the way, can equip and equip the, unequip this one. So there you go. Guys, once, once you unequip this one, there you go. Or unmount, there you go. You can leave it anywhere. That one. See that, guys? It's actually cool. So, uh, if you're on a move and you want to run fast, you can use it, right? Okay, so next up. Let's 
check it out. Yeah, it will disappear too. Okay, next up is the dual axe. Accept. There you go. Okay, so we have the new sword now. Okay, we need 150 sword masters to do it. Okay, so obviously we have a shadow fruit as our fruit and we have fruit stats. So we're gonna need stat reset. So this is the dual axe. So I think we still have... Uh, start reset there go guys one more okay okay now we can reset our stats and let's put some on the sword 150 mastery or sorry I keep saying mastery because of block roots well okay 20 master 20 stats on defense and combat and 150 sword stats yeah to unlock everything so we're gonna put more on the sword stat okay so now guys, we have two skills. We have the Harvest Impact and the Flesh Harvest. But first, let's try the M1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5 clicks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you won't launch forward. Okay? For 1. Okay, the damage is quite strong because our level is 88. <laughs> kind of high for this area. Anyways guys, let's try the skills. Z skill first. Flesh Harvest. Let's try it. Okay guys, so you will launch forward using the skill. Oh, 115 damage. And next stop. That is the Harvest Impact, 268 damage. Again, let's try it. Okay, so you will launch forward. So I think everyone that you will go through will be damaged. And for the Harvest Impact, boom! Guys, check the range. That's so big. I think they made this sword for us to grind candies faster. Let's try again. Boom! Oh, not bad, guys. Not bad. <laughs> what expression that boom. <laughs> Anyways, so far, so good. So what do you think guys? Is it worth it? For me, uh, the fruit is good, but you don't need like uh, candies to get at. The broom is good, the sword, um, not bad for uh, uh, for the value, but TTK, through triple katana is still better. <laughs> Anyways, one more question to be answered. Game Renom, can you trade everything? No, but you can trade the mask and what do you call this? The sword. See that guys, I was able to trade the sword and the mask. Yes, I don't need items, I want fruits. Please give me fruits. Okay. So guys, uh, do you need to know how to grind candies fast? Should I make a separate video of that? Please comment in the comment section. But yeah, I'm gonna show it to you how I did it. And I think there's a better way, yeah, faster. So let's finish this trade first. So we will be getting okay, a gum and a phoenix fruit. Let's check it out. Okay guys, trade successful. Okay, so for for my technique on how to grind candies really fast or to the high level players, guys, my technique, you need an account that has a level lower than 100. Okay, that's the only way to grind this fast. So guys, as you can see, I am here in the first or the starter island so i'm gonna use my v skill here okay and then check it out i'm gonna use my c skill there we're gonna defeat three that's supposed to defeat three and two more okay so we will be defeating 10 in one cycle also guys the mobs here spawn really really fast okay so guys in less uh, actually in 10 seconds you will be defeating 10 mobs or getting 10 candies again this will only work if your level is less than 100 or 99 or 98 something like that see that guys again v skill here you will defeat five c skill there <laughs> and to defeat three and another x skill here guys if you do this fast you can get i think more than 50 candies in one minute also you can try your uh, skill on other mobs but guys the spawn time of the mobs here is really fast check it out i killed this side right right side and before v skill even cooldowns there you go, they're, they're alive again. Okay, also don't forget to make things faster. You can buy this fruit, the Tremor fruit, for only 550,000 bellies. There you go. If you have that, guys, I think things will be a lot faster. So I think, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Enjoy this update. Again, to all the viewers, subscribe supporters, watch out for Shadow Fruit 1 to Max. Again, this is Gamer Nom. See you in my next video. Bye bye.